<laughs> Good morning, human. How are you this beautiful day? Mm. You slept well, I hope. You must have, really. The first few nights we were together, you kicked up such a fuss in the middle of the night. Trying to sneak away, trying to run, but these last few days, I've barely noticed any sound coming from you. It really has been quite delightful sleeping with you recently. Of course, shrinking you back to your miniature size might have had something to do with your complacency. But I'm sure it's not just that. No doubt you've grown used to your surroundings. No doubt you're finally content with the life you chose when you picked me at the Monster's Ball. No doubt you're finally... <sighs> happy. So... What would you like to do today, my dear one? Perhaps swim together, or go for a walk, or find somewhere where we can sit and talk until the sun sets? Maybe we could pick berries, or go fraternize with some other fairies? Actually, that might be a bad idea. They've been obsessed with you since I first showed you to them. Keep wanting you to touch their wings. <clears throat> Honestly, I was a little worried they might try to enchant you away from me. But it seems they know not to force my hands. <laughs> oh, there's so much we can do together now. Though, well, now that you're finally happy here, we'll have a lovely time. But I can give you a bit of a leeway now. So, what should we do? Oh, I can't decide. You pick human, I trust you. Restore you to your normal size? <laughs> well, I can't do that, silly. You'd be too big. You'd probably crush half of our village just by being near it. Not only that, you'd potentially lure in some of the fairy poachers that have been seen around here recently. It'd give away our location. But you have been well behaved recently. They do want to make you happy. How about this? A compromise. I'll bring you to my height, the height I intended when I first shrank you. That way, we'll be equals. At least in terms of physicality, then I won't have to hold you in my hands when I talk to you. But you can hold mine. <laughs> we can hold hands when we walk together. Though I will probably still have to shrink you down when we fly. I don't think I'm strong enough to carry you in the air. Though I am a lot stronger than I look. You're okay with that? Very well. Let me place you down here and I'll take a few steps back. Wouldn't want you to accidentally hurt me as you grow, after all. Oh, better just take a last look at you. You're so cute at that size. I could just keep you that small forever. But I respect you too much. Are you ready? I want you to take a deep breath for me now. It'll prevent unconsciousness from the sudden expansion, but don't worry if you do pass out. I'll look after you. Now prepare yourself, darling. There we go. Oh, my darling. It's so nice to have you back at your proper height. At least from my perspective. And you didn't pass out either. I didn't give you enough credit, did I? <laughs> I have to say, I like you much better like this than your giant form. I still don't know how you humans cope with being so big. That doesn't matter, though. What does matter is that we're finally free to walk around together, as equals. And I've also decided what we're going to do today. Are you ready to hear it? Out of all the options I provided... We are going to do... All of them! We'll walk, pick berries, fraternize with the fellow fairies along the way, go for a swim, then find a place to sit and talk about anything and everything that comes to our minds. Then we'll do it all over again tomorrow, and then the day after that, and then the day after that, and all eternity. Doesn't that sound lovely, my darling? Oh, I can't wait to get started. Just let me get me more presentable, and then we'll head out. Hmm. 
Well, I can't exactly go dressed out like this, can I? You're fine. You look perfect in anything you wear. Don't worry. I won't be going long. I'll be back in a moment, my dear human. I know you're excited to get going, but please, wait for me. I'm back, darling. And you're still here. Wonderful. Oh, I must confess, my dear darling human. When I left you there for a moment, it was a test. A secret little test. And you passed. I wanted to see if you'd... Well, I know it sounds foolish, but... If you tried to escape now that I've restored you to a bit more... Reasonable size. I was hoping you wouldn't, and you didn't. You stayed right there where you were, and I think that's lovely. Now, that doesn't mean I'm going to let you off the hook or anything. After all, just because you didn't try to escape once doesn't mean you won't do it again in the future. But this is an excellent first step in redeeming yourself for past mistakes. <laughs> Come here, my darling. Your loyalty deserves a little reward. Mm -hmm. Oh, cute. A genius. And a good kisser. Can I pick him? Or can I pick him? <laughs> uh, yes, darling. You're right. Realistically, if you did try to escape, it wouldn't matter. I'd still be able to find you. No, not like that. I'm not like that big sniffer dog, Warren. <laughs> you willingly gave me your full name. I'll always have a link to you. My soul to your soul. I'll always know where you are just by feeling. Isn't that wonderful? It means you'll always be safe. Really? You're better off ignoring any of these escape ideas that keep coming into your brain. It's never going to happen. Never. Ever. Ever. <laughs> and really? Why would you ever want to? This place is a paradise compared to your world. Everyone's friendly. Everyone treats you like a celebrity, frankly. And what's more, you're with me. Someone who will always look after you and care for you and tend to your every need. And if someone were to ever try and hurt you... Oh... <laughs> I don't know what I'd do. Nothing good for certain. Oh, I'd never hurt you, my darling. Never to you. I couldn't hurt you, I swear. I, I'd die before I did that. If, if you were to escape, I'd just return you. You'll come back to appreciate me eventually, I know it. Now, please, don't think of me as your captor in just another second longer. Think of me as, as, mm, the love of your life. Because that's what you are to me, darling. I've loved you since the moment I met you. Mm. Now come on, let's go. After all, the sun is set shining, and there's so much we have to do together. <laughs> Didn't I say we'd have a lovely time, my darling? I've never eaten so much, so many berries before in all of my life, and I've never seen you smile and laugh so much either. I think you really are starting to enjoy your time here, my friend. Even, even if a part of you will always long to be returned home. I... Spending time with you today, not as a pet, but as an equal, it made me realize some things, darling. I'm sorry for tricking you. Bringing you here against your will. No, it's not okay. I... I did a terrible thing, really. 
using my powers to manipulate your decision, making you pick me over the others, and I'm... I'm sorry. Just seeing you happy just now made me realize what I'd done. How I treated you. How I treated you like an object. Rather than a person, something to my own, but you're not. I think I just really wanted my own human. Someone to love me. I was all alone at the ball, with nobody wanting to spend time with me. When you showed up, I just... I got so excited. It was like I had... I had to have you, regardless of what you wanted, and it was so... wrong. So wrong. I'd ask if you can forgive me, but it doesn't matter. Regardless, I'm going to do the right thing. I'm going to take you back home tomorrow. Once we're good and rested. Is that understood? Do you understand? All these weeks away, your family must be worried sick. But don't worry. Don't worry. I'm, I'm going to set everything right, okay? What's that? Y you You would have chosen me anyway? Oh, human. You're not just saying that. Are you? Our bond lets me know when you're lying, and you haven't lied to me once since you told me your name. Still, my darling, I... I have to atone. Even if you wanted to date me, I took it too far by abducting you. Perhaps there's some way I can... <laughs> Very well. If you want to leave it and discuss it later, we can do. But I want you to know I'm utterly sincere about wanting to make up for what I've done. I won't rest until I've atoned for how I've treated you and... Really? The most relaxed you've been in years? Well, well, that's very good to hear. Still, I... Um, Alright, if, if you want to stay with me, that's fine. We'll discuss it more tomorrow, but until then, I... Oh, no. Oh, human, it's... It's some of the other fairies. They're probably out looking for you. Go! I'll distract them before they try and get your hands on you, alright? Go! Quickly! Go, 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 go! Bye, Anya. That was exhausting. I've never seen a creature so obsessed. Is that how it looks to a human? I shudder just thinking about it. Still, they backed up once I threatened to shrink them, so it wasn't too bad. I just hope my, my human managed to get home safely. Human? Human, where are you? They... They couldn't have gone. They... They wouldn't have dare have left me. I was... I was planning on releasing them, after all. But... They're not here. So... That means... So that means... Who has taken my human? Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.